Hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, going to be the first episode in a new series on Transport Fever 2. Yeah, that's a new series. I'm leaving the Stepford map behind for a while here. I may come back to it later, but uh, it's a really busy map. There's not a lot we can do with it that's not doesn't require a lot of detailed fiddling. And I don't think that's going to be terribly interesting uh, going forward. Um, I mean, I could do another five dozen episodes uh, just trying to get all the traffic and everything to work nicely and all of that, you know, putting in subways and local transport connections and all that jazz. But uh, I'm actually, let's be honest, I'm getting a little bit bored with that map. So here we go. We're going to do a new one. Now, uh, I have prepared a map in advance here. Now this map, uh, we're going to be focusing more on making things look reasonable and uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, a, a connect everything to everywhere type setup, but it's not going to be that easy to do, uh, but it should be easier than it was on the Stepford map, the uh, elevation uh, differences should be less dramatic. Um, so I have this one YouTube next because, you know, I, na I, I'm clever that way with, uh, naming things. Um, we're going to start with, um, one mod, which is more industry levels. Uh, and that will allow the, uh, industries to have, uh, basically get up to double their usual production. I've done that because I want to be able to, to supply every town with every demand right and that rec and i uh, have a specific number of towns set up and those towns you know all have their demands and i if i got the calculations right and i backtracked it so that there's enough primary industries to and secondary industries in the chains to do a full full demand a full production for each destination like a full factory production that's the theory. But when I did it with the stock production levels, I needed way too many industries. And you'll see in a moment what I mean. Right. Um, I'm not going to talk about all of the other maps listed in this list here. Uh, yes, I have tinkered with Colonel Feather's Peninsula map. Uh, and I have tinkered with... Uh, you know, a, a few others like the uh, tropical one and so on. Uh, this one, we've got a very large map. It's a one to five ratio. Um, right. Uh, so, so we have the more industry levels. I'll probably install the uh, sandbox mod at some point uh, so we can mess with some things, uh, maybe add a town or two or something like that in the future. But I'm not going to. Uh, right now, we're going to start with just this stuff, and um, I'm going to add one more mod in here, a couple more mods in here. Uh, one of them is, uh, where is it? Um, it's um, the Freestyle Train Station mod. Uh, I'm going to add that one. Uh, I may not use the freestyle stations, but I'm going to add it so we have it available. And there's another mod with... Uh, 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 what is it? I think that's the one with Jolly Green in it. Uh, this one here gives us faster, um, stone bridges. I'm going to add that one and I'm going to add the, I'm going to add the steel bridges one. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm just adding those and we're going to go for smoke reduction. Uh, now the reason for that is it just makes the smoke less dense. Uh, right. 
now. I'm just uh, looking here. Um, right. Uh, where are we? We are not going to do no cost. We're going to do it the hard way. Uh, what are we doing? We're not going to use natural town growth initially. Uh, we might later just to see what happens. Um, um, where are we here? Um, okay, we have... I have lots of mods in here that are not terribly useful. I really need to clean some of them out. Uh, bridges without pillars. Um, that could be useful for uh, getting things to look a little bit better. And this one... Bridges a bit more variety. Hmm... Um, let's see. Nope, that, that's going to be enough of them. Okay, so I'll leave those, those in there. Uh, right. Oh, there's, there's another one. Um, shader enhancement. That one is, uh probably worth it as well okay right okay we'll uh we'll try that and uh actually i think this one should probably load first yeah okay good now We'll do okay on that. Okay, so now we've got this stack of mods. Now, hopefully it doesn't destabilize anything, right? Uh, so now we're going, and we're going to, um, no, we're going to select the options again. Um, vehicles all. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, right. Now, we're going to start in 1850. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of, uh, of, of a challenge. Uh, and I'm doing that uh, just, just because it's... Uh, uh, j just because, you know. Wait, do we have a difficulty? Yeah, okay, yeah. Medium difficulty is fine. Okay. Right. Uh, so the trick here is we're going to uh, try and get everything to operate... Uh, at some sort of a profit uh, without uh, without having too much trouble. So let's get this show on the road here. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, starting the uh, map up. And uh, any anyone want to give odds that the game crashes right away? Um... And the answer is no. Um, we're paused. Uh, okay. Now what's the date speed? One times. Uh, do I want it to be one times? Not sure. But anyway, let's uh, check in on the map here. Uh, so what we've got here, let's just come over here. What I've, I've set up. Yeah, and this, you might be worried because this looks just like how the towns were set up on the uh, previous map. What I've set up is a sort of uh, metropolis area here. Uh, there's four towns here. They will grow together into one agglomeration. But we've only got, we got a, a few spread out towns and we've got additional locations where we're going to have uh, some sort of agglomeration set up over here right and over here so we've got several major urban areas and a few outlying towns right and as you can see we've got industries like we're mining iron ore around here in these 
hills. Uh, we've got uh, forestry up in these trees. We're, we're doing steel production over here in this horseshoe. Uh, we've got uh, uh, machine production over at uh, Pork Belly. Uh, you know, we've got some more steel production at Lake Wobegon. Uh, we've got uh, food processing in Dog River. Uh, we've got uh, oil refining in Mega City 2. Uh, there's a whole bunch of coal mining over at Shangri-La and uh, Winchesterton Fieldville. Is that? Yep. Uh, there's some farming over here as well. Lots of farming. Uh, so as you can see, and this is with half the number of industries you would need for the stock game right There's some more farming over here so that's going to be part of the challenge with this this map uh because we're going to need to get uh goods like we'll have to get uh iron ore from here all the way over to here and here then we're going to have to get the steel back to here and here and we're going to have to get the food all the way over to Dog River. Uh, so, uh, and we're going to have to get lumber or, 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 or um, yeah, we're going to have to get the logs over to the lumber mills, the sawmills. Uh, and we're going to have to get uh, refined oil here to the fuel factories. Uh, so it's generally all around, we're going to have to get stuff from pillar to post. And there's some long distances involved here. Now, that's um, that's actually part of the, the intended challenge here. I, I want to uh, basically avoid the, uh, oh yeah, we can just uh, sling a track and uh, move stuff and we've got instant profit. But once we get it slung in, we'll have good profits, okay? Uh, but first of all, it's 1850 and we need to get some transportation up so that we can make some money. Now I'm going to, I'm going to do that initially because I'm not going to, uh, cheat, right? So, uh, we're going to start out by, uh, uh, connecting up these, towns with uh, roads like that and what no um, now we'll, we'll bring it this way and yes I know I'm using the slow town roads here <laughs> our uh, vehicle choice at this point is slow so with those roads in, right, I can set up some uh, town uh, transport and we'll use trams. So buildings, uh, we're going to use these. Now, we can co cover most of the city, most of these cities, with single stop points. So we can have a stop point there. We can have a stop point here. Yeah, we can have one here, yeah, and we can have one here. Right, okay. Now, uh, ultimately, we'll probably end up replacing these with uh, rail, uh, but I'm not completely sure of that. Okay, so we got that, and we're going to go on to streets. Um, we're going to go in here, and we're going to use trams. Now, the reason we're going to use trams here is at this stage of the game, trams have a higher capacity. Uh, yeah. And we're going to come over this way. just like that okay and we can go ahead and put a uh, nope buildings 
tram depot and we'll put that there why am i putting it back that far well two reasons one it gives me room uh, to uh, widen the road and two when i do widen the road if i do i can avoid having a traffic light there yeah okay now how are we going to set this up well i'm going to have one line go central city gotham city star city and then uh probably a point-to-point uh, -point going from central city to metropolis and one from gotham city to metropolis i think um yeah probably uh well let's start with the the one over there now uh, i'm gonna buy vehicles and we're gonna go the horse-drawn streetcar is two two kilowatts uh, six capacity 20k 1818 yeah we'll want the 20k okay now i think we're gonna need probably 10 of those yeah, it's because they're slow. So we'll we'll uh, do a new line, right? And it'll go here, 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 and back. Yep. <laughs> they're all called Lee Street. <laughs> nice. And this will be the... Uh, this will be the uh, uh, passenger tram uh, star city to central city. Okay. Right now, we've got uh, Metropolis to metropolis to gotham i think so we'll buy five of them and we're going to go from here to here yeah uh which is going to be central city to metropolis uh central city to metropolis uh oh incidentally central city is in the corner of the map just for the memes uh, <laughs> uh right and then we go in here and we're gonna buy five more of those buy yep uh new line and that's gonna go here to here yep and that's gonna be passenger tram gotham city to metropolis okay good that's uh that's those that's three of those now uh what i'm gonna do um i'm just thinking uh am i gonna run the the time at a slower pace than standard yeah i think i am I could run it at half speed or quarter speed. Half speed, I think. Do no or do I? Yeah, um No, I'm going to run it at quarter speed here. Uh okay. Now. Now, uh will uh I so I don't I don't want the date to progress too fast, and I'll just bring the sandbox mod in if we want to jump it forward faster. Uh, so I we I, I just want to see what these uh, these things do here. Um, uh, we're going to repay uh, a bunch of the loans so that we're paying less interest. Um, right. Uh, oh, this um, this business here is uh from the uh map creation so don't uh, uh don't um get too 
um, bothered by it. Right. Yeah, so infrastructure, uh, that's landscaping and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so don't let that, uh, that bother you, uh, too much. Um, right. Okay. Okay, so what are we uh, what are we doing here? We are picking up, we are accumulating passengers. Okay. Um, oh right, those are going to be uh, spreading out. Uh, we are accumulating passengers here. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the station. Uh, yeah, so we need we need some. Uh, some of the uh, the horse-drawn carts to actually get there. And this is actually why the uh, the 1800s is the 1850 start is a little bit um, uh, annoying, I guess is a way to put it. Um, it just down to there being uh, much less um, money available and slower vehicles and all of that, right? So the trams are stuck behind the uh, the horse carts. But uh, they will eventually uh, get to the... Uh, station. Yep. Turn around. Drop off. Yeah, so we're going to actually make some real cash on these. So, uh, yeah, so we're, we're actually turning a profit on the uh, road vehicles. Um, so far. Now that they're actually delivering uh, terminals, okay, yeah. Uh, now that they're actually delivering passengers and collecting passengers, we're uh, we're going to make some some actual uh, coin on it, right? And that uh, that's kind of uh, kind of where we uh, we want it to be. Yeah. So yeah, we had, we we uh, grab eight k for that delivery. Uh, that drop off another 8k so uh, we've got long enough lines here that we're uh, we're picking up uh, some level of uh, of um, of traffic right uh, I probably should change these uh, stations to actual stations with platforms and all of that jazz um, I might do that. Uh, we are picking up uh, passengers, so so yeah, we're uh, we're turning some sort of a a profit with this, so so that's good. So that's kind of what we want to do in the other metro areas as well. Uh, so let's. Um, this one has longer distances. That's probably good for rail. Um. We've got rivers there. Uh, maybe this one. This one's further. The, these are longer distances, so I think they're probably uh, better suited for a rail setup. Yeah, I think they probably are. At least this early on, I think they are. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let's go back over here and uh, take a look at our transport. Now, I think 
I might want to go in here. If we add a large street between the, uh, the towns here, um, I wonder if that will improve anything. Probably not. Well, it might, just due to uh, splitting the turning traffic up. Why are they going up there? Oh, because they got confused, that's why. Yeah, that's going to be busy there. So it looks like we probably have enough traffic between the towns that I can set up rail connections. So maybe I'll try try rail for for these uh for say, no that one isn't good for that. No. That one has a river crossing. Um, this one would be good for rail. Okay. So the question is, how much will it cost to do that? Yeah, that is the question, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, if we go into the uh, rail... No, rail, and we go into buildings. We have, we could put short stations in here initially. Yeah, we could. And here, we're going to want, I think we're going to want two track stations. Um... But yeah, I think we can get away with short stations here. Okay. Let's uh, pause it. And uh, borrow a bunch to the max. Okay. Now, if we go back in here and we do this, uh, we get a station there. And we're going to need one in Danville, which, and then it'll have to go out that way. Yeah. Okay, so this one's going to go like this. That's a million. Yeah, it is. You just built it anyway. Yeah, I did. And then... Yeah. Um, now, if we put this one here, eh, we get decent catchment if we do that. So, okay, so those were expensive, but we want, now we want tracks, which. Um, yeah, that's going to be expensive too, but that's fine. Um, okay. Now, if we force those tracks flat, do, ah, we do get a bad crossing. Okay. Hey, okay. uh, there you go. Now, we need to come up into... Uh, Danville, which will need tracks coming out like that. Yeah, this is going to be expensive. But I think once we once we have a uh, an operation going here uh yeah, that's also going to be expensive, but I think we have to do that. 
Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. And that. And then we need this guy coming out here. Okay, yeah. I think we can we can get away with this. Okay. Now if we if we double track all of this is we're going to probably want to run two or three trains on here. Um, so we come in this way and this way. And we can get away with that. Yep. And then we come in this way. Yeah. Okay. Now, we'll put the uh, end crossovers back here some distance from the station uh, we're gonna need signals um, we're not gonna overload on signals here um, back here uh, yeah, I'm doing that to avoid blocking those crossings more than I need to. Uh, put another one here. And we'll put the uh, crossover here. Yep. And a signal there. Okay. Well, now what are you going to do? I guess I'm going to fling a train at this, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, you probably are. Okay. So how are you going to do that? I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, okay. So we got that. Now, buy vehicles... Obviously, we want steam train. We don't have any multiple units, right? So steam train, Baldwin six wheel is 70 and uh, 25. That's 66 and 20. That's 60 and 26. So we'll go with Baldwin six wheel. And passengers. Now, uh, this here is, uh, if we go with the D1, one stroke three, the D one third, whatever. Uh, we get a two times loading speed with a capacity of six, but it weighs five tons. These both weigh twenty tons, for a capacity of of uh, more, a little bit more than double. Uh, and they're also a two times loading speed, but for a capacity of a little more than double, uh, we can put two of these. These cost four, 400, 300. This one's 141. So for 250K, 260K, we can have these. Uh, they're good for 40K. The Loco's good for 40K. Yeah, this one's good for 50K. Okay, so if we do... So if we add one, two, three, four... We add four of them, we have a 24 capacity. If we add six of them, we can't buy two trains. If we add five of them, we have 30 capacity, and I think we can buy two trains. We can buy two trains. Buy. Okay. Now, uh, we are going to create a new line, which is going to go here, here, here and here yeah uh, and that's going to be passenger train duckburg to pork belly okay now we get out of that um we're going to up the tempo and what we're going to do is we're going to ride the train because why not now remember we're in uh 
fast mode here, uh, and that's why it's moving at a tolerable pace. But uh, yeah, uh, it just seemed like the thing to do. So we're running two trains on here. Uh, and we should pick up passengers relatively quickly. Yeah, those crossings are okay. The road beside that one was ugly, though. We picked up a passenger. Yay, we have a passenger. Okay, now we're tooling through here at 40k, so, yeah, that's good. And in we go here. Hopefully we pick up more than one passenger. We do. We picked up eight passengers. Oh, that's fugly. Um, right. Uh, so we picked up eight passengers there. There's our other train. Right. Now, how many are we going to pick up going the other way here? A few. Okay, we are up to nine passengers on board now. Now, when we arrive in Duckburg, we should have the largest number waiting because we'll be the first train in there. Oh, look, we got to see a building go up as we were approaching. Yeah, there's a fair number of uh, passengers here. We picked up 24. Now we'll see how many are sitting around on the platform in uh, Danville. Oh, look, there's our other uh, train again going the other way. Now we have 24 on board, and we have room for 6, plus whatever we have for people getting off. Okay. So we're a full load coming out of there. Okay. So I think, if we jump out of here, uh, the train is going to be making actual cash. Now, we're upside down on our uh, money at the moment. But that, I think, is partly because the train hasn't made any money yet. Now, if we expand the railroad, our maintenance is 280 k but we only have 126 k income. Well, uh, well, this train is showing a profit right now. Um... Okay, is okay. That train is showing a loss. Okay, I might need to drop this back to one train uh, if we want to avoid uh, losing money. And again, maybe not. Well, this is up to 67. Okay, now that it's betting in, I think it should start making an actual profit. Yeah, I think it should. Oh, we broke even for a minute. 64k. Yeah, okay. So if the trains are if the 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 rail starts staying positive, uh we should be good. As long as the trains are running largely uh full, 
uh, end to end, we should make a decent amount of cash here. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be good, wouldn't it? We got a train coming into Duckburg soon. Did 58k there, uh, and that was midline. 71k there, which is uh, end of line. Yep. Okay, yeah. So I think these trains are going to uh, give us a net uh, a net benefit overall. We're going to end up positive. So that'll be good. So I guess it's going to be a case of uh, plumbing in more of this type of thing and uh, and seeing where we end up. Now, I'll likely need to roll this forward uh, before the next part so we have some actual cash to do something, and that's fine. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm running time at the slow speed. Uh, so when I wind it forward, we don't completely skip the steam era. Yeah, uh, that's that's why. Uh, but we're up 100k on, or 68k on this uh, accounting period. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely to the good. Uh, if we can be up 150k or so each each accounting period, uh, we'll be we'll be good. Uh, take 10 of those, and we're at a million five. You know, uh, yeah. So that's the general idea here. Oh, we went positive on our bank balance. So, yeah. Uh, so we have that. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be okay. So we spent a lot of money to get this operational. But it does appear to be uh, functioning. So that's, uh, that's that. Uh, obviously, I think we'll want to bring Cityville in, and that'll probably be a point-to-point -point from Danville. Uh, and then I'll probably do the same thing with the other metros here. This will probably be two lines here and here. Um, yeah, but we're going to need a lot of cash to do that, right? So we'll have to, we'll have to let it uh, tick along for a minute. Um, uh, we're making 80 K plus on the, uh, road operation up here. So, uh, this is, uh, this is functional. It's going to likely uh, explode in our face at some point. That's fine. Uh, we'll replace it with rail later, uh, possibly. Uh, anyway. Where is our... Yeah, so there's our rail line. Um, I think adding Cityville here, uh, this should be profitable as well. Uh, anyway, uh, now I guess I, I need to... Uh, uh, I need a name for this. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Uh, I had an, an idea for a name, but... But I can't remember what it was going to be. Well, you'll know because it'll be in the title of the video. But yeah, uh, so this is the uh, the new map. Uh, I'm just getting started with the passenger transport as a uh, cash uh, um, infusion. And then I'll have to find uh, something I can do for cargo that's close enough that we can... Uh, make some cash on it without going bust building it and that's the uh, I don't think there is anything yeah I don't think there is well I might be able to with this here maybe maybe um, yeah maybe uh, Yeah, otherwise, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to uh, going to work out so well. Uh, otherwise, uh, so yeah, so that's going to be that's going to be uh, the whole um, the whole operation here for the moment, 
And uh, yeah, so this, uh, hopefully I'm gonna end up doing a little bit more planning between, uh, between parts here and uh, maybe, uh, maybe we'll get something uh, much better put together. Uh, you know, I'll probably end up doing a little bit more editing in this uh, series where editing is pause the recording, do some stuff, unpause the recording. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm lazy that way. So, you know, uh, anyway, we've got, so here, yeah, so we're up 148K last accounting period. Uh, yeah, so we're easily covering the loan and coming out positive. So I'm okay with where we stand. We're at, th at a quarter of a million here in the bank. So yeah, uh, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, so I didn't make a hash of the first episode. Uh, so I guess, uh, yeah, I'll be back next week uh, with another episode of this where we do some more plumbing stuff in and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, the goal for this map is to get all the industries connected all the way to the end, like the full, full production chains, all the way to their final destinations. So that's going to require some, uh, some complications later on. And I'm starting in 1850 because then I have to do some retrofitting later. And I think that that adds to the challenge. So that's why I'm doing that. Anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. So uh, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, apparently. And I guess like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon, or not, as you see fit. No skin off my back, really. And yeah, see you back next time.